Hey, welcome back to the Little Black Shade Tree. I am really excited about this project because it has been years since we've had a nice dining room table with actually matching chairs. So I was able to find a killer deal on Facebook Marketplace for a really sturdy table and six matching chairs that will work awesome. It actually has a butterfly insert. It doesn't just have a leaf that you can put in and extend the table. It, the leaf is actually built into the table and it butterflies out. And I was the price of it was only $50, so I was thinking, oh man, there's gotta be some structurally structure integrity at risk here. But it actually was in great shape. The wood is in great shape. It has got all kinds of cosmetic damage, scrapes, cuts all kinds of stuff but that is exactly what i was going to change anyways so we are going to strip it all down i'm going to use a paint stripper uh the, all the poly the vinyl or poly polyurethane stripper all that i'm going to get all of it off we're going to give it a really nice dark uh tabletop and the rest i'm going to paint white except for the seats of the chair. So I'm gonna make that the matching dark color of the tabletop. It is going to be gorgeous. I cannot wait. We are going to turn this terribly ugly um, scratched up table and turn it into this gorgeous, beautiful table set. So I cannot wait to have this in my kitchen and I'm gonna share this process with you along with a lot of really important tips, things to watch out for because if you try this at home, which you should, it's going to be amazing, then you'll wanna keep some things in mind. So stay tuned, watch this video, be amazed, go home and do it yourself.
beautiful DIY farmhouse dining set is all done. I'm really excited about that because I've spent so many hours outside in the super hot, steamy Georgia July afternoons. So I'm glad to be back in the air conditioning. It looks great. There are a few things I'm going to touch up on it. There are a few uh, flecks of white paint where they shouldn't be. So I'm just going to take my X-Acto knife and scrape it off. I put a total of five layers of polyurethane on the top and it looks great. Uh, five thin coats of polyurethane is going to be a lot more durable than a couple thick coats. And believe me, we got three kids so we need this table to be as durable as possible. And quick tip. When you cover a large surface like this table with polyurethane, make sure you do it quickly. I know that it was hot outside, but that polyurethane was drying really quick and so I had to move fast to cover that table before one edge, I, I went, you go with the grain, but one edge would be dry by the time I came by with the next sweep of polyurethane. So make sure to move fast and move smooth and go in long lines whether it has a grain or not, go with nice long lines. I was really excited that I was able to paint on the wood grain for this table because surprisingly this entire table is made of nice grained wood except for the areas I wanted to stain. Um, so the tabletop and the seats of the chairs were MDF. but. I was able to watch some tutorials, learn how to paint on a wood grain, and I'll put out another video on how to do that, how to paint on a wood grain on whatever you like. It could be PVC pipe for whatever. I hope that this video inspired you to try something new, to try something, try to make something beautiful in your home. I know we can all do with some sprucing, some freshening, whether it's for your home, your family, or for yourself. So if you like this video, please subscribe. I have so many more projects I cannot wait to share with you. I'm gonna get them all out for you. So please hit the notification bell and make sure that you are subscribed and getting these videos. And I will see you in the next one.